The 2009 revision of the Y14-5 standard has added a chart that shows various datum features, their datum feature simulators, and the degrees of freedom that may be constrained when that feature is a primary datum feature on a regardless of material boundary basis. This series of tips illustrates each of these datum feature types using video clips from our computer-based training course. There's another way to establish a plane, and that is if we're establishing a center plane. Notice that my datum feature identification symbol is lined up with the size dimension. When it's lined up with that size dimension, it says, I want the center plane of this feature of size. So I need to grab it or close in on this with two parallel planes at minimum separation. Now that would be the unrelated actual mating envelope. In practical terms, it might be an inspection vise. And then by indicating off the faces of the jaws of the vise, I can determine where a center plane would be. And because we're establishing a plane, once again, I'm going to take away two rotations, so one will still be remaining. And you might say, wait, if I grab this in a vise, it can't spin like that. Well, don't count friction. Okay, so it could spin like that if you just made contact and didn't clamp down tight on it. And I have two translations remaining. It can move left, right, and it could move up, down in that vise. We started with three, two are remaining, so I must have arrested or taken away one translation. So here's a centering vise that you could buy for $259 from the Enco Corporation, at least at the time I was making this video, that will close in and center up all the time if you have this set up in your machine. Or here's a milling vise and I would have to indicate off the surfaces and then center up. Now often I'll have folks from the shop say, yeah, but I don't want to do that. And I, I understand that, but if I need symmetry, this is what you need to do. If I have a slot, I still can get a center plane. I could fill it with the largest stack of gauge blocks that will fit in that slot and then indicate off the surface of the gauge blocks. Be sure to check out other tips in this series to see how other datum features work or take our computer-based training online or on DVD. And remember, at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next month.